Last episode, my son put our family ATV inside of the pond on our land. Now let's see if we can pull it out and hopefully even buy some new equipment today. Let's see what it's still worth. Well, I want to take a ride and we're bearing your mind. Take me all around to the thinking places where you spend your time. Ain't no place I'd rather go. You're a funny little critter and I love you so much. Take a ride and we'll bear it in mind I come and sit down with me in a rocking chair Alrighty, so since your mother's out of town today, we gotta go get that ATV out of the pond. Because somebody put it inside the pond last episode. Like I said, the brakes fell on me. Sure. So let's go ahead and hunt the tractors and get a rope and let's go pull it out of the pond, okay? Fine. Alrighty, so I'm gonna tie this right here. Alright, here's the end of the rope. Now, uh, get to swimming. Huh? You put it there, you go get it. I don't like John Deere no more. Tie it up there and get in and hold on. You ready? Yeah. I got her going. Does she know she's Slightly going? Slightly going. Slightly, come on. There you took it that time. There we go. After looking at the damages at the ATV, me and my son came down to the decision. We were going to rent a flatbed, which we ended up doing. And we also are going to go ahead and take it down to the local dealership to see if we could trade in for anything that we need. Okay, so we just got here to the dealership. And my son is sadly at home, and he didn't feel too good, so he kind of stayed there for a little bit. And uh, we'll see him later on. And so right now, I have to go inside the dealership, talk to him, and see what they would give us for this right here. And after some long and crucial negotiations, we ended up trading our John Deere side-by-side -side for an old rinky-dink sprayer. We ended up going ahead and taking it straight to the house and putting it straight to work. And we also ended up picking a IBC of herbicide. Okay, so we just got back here on the farm. And so now we're going to go ahead and hitch up to this right here, the John Deere sprayer. Which we only they ended up doing a flat trade for the John Deere sprayer. For our John Deere which was really really good um, it allows us to save a lot of good money and hopefully be able to let out us last the entire year before I start doing this I wonder if my son got this compact so we should be able to go up to it and there we go it's now covered so now we'll go ahead and start making this in the sausage and let's go ahead and get this sprayed right here and go ahead and get work started and yeah, that right there will start killing off these weeds so yeah perfect so now we're getting some actual work done And that is now done, so I'm going to go ahead and fold this stuff right here. I think I saw my son around here somewhere. I think he's feeling a little bit better. There he is. Hey. Watch out. How you feeling? Better. That's good to hear. A lot better. All right, well, get back to work. Uh, start cutting some trees. I'm going to put this up real fast. I'm going to call the place that rented us that trailer. I'm going to let them come pick it up. All right. After I got done spraying, my son ended up having the entire trailer of logs ready to go. He ended up going ahead and working on that. So let's go ahead and take that up there and see how much money we make. And that sold for 2316 I got to pull up a little bit and let's see what the rest of this is going to sell for. Ah, another 1500 Okay. So that means we should be able to pick up a plow. Let's go. I'm going to go here and talk to the dealership and see what kind of plows they got. So we have a choice here. You see this John Deere A? Yeah. We could keep this or we could sell it to them and then we can give them another 10000 to get this entire setup right here. How much horsepower does it have? This has 185 Then yeah, we definitely need to take this up. That yeah. That's exactly something we can pass on. That's what I'm thinking. So, all right, I'm going to go in there and sign the paperwork. Kiss or goodbye. And after some more negotiation, we ended up spending the ten grand to go ahead and buy that tractor, and we went ahead and took it on to do some more work with it. Dad, you on the CV? Yeah, what's going on? Um, we got a little issue. What's going on? The tire popped on the tractor. It did what now? The tire popped on the tractor. Oh, my lord. Alrighty, I'll be there in a minute, son. Alright, hurry up. I'm coming. It's getting late. Okay, let me take a look at this. Maybe you can find some. I didn't find nothing. Here it is. It's a nail. A nail? Yeah, you ran over a nail. Oh, I see it. 
What is wrong with you? Don't... Do you not know how to drive? I told you, don't You're... wreck the tractor. I didn't wreck it. It's not broke. Yeah, no, no. I got to pay for a brand new tire. Hey, it ain't my fault that you built us in the middle of nowhere, and all of a sudden there's a random nail in the middle of nowhere. You know what? So this that's... is coming out of your food for the week, okay? It ain't like you fed me yesterday anyways. All righty. Well, let's go ahead and head to the house real fast. I'll call my cousin in the morning and come fix it. And after some time, me and my son decided to wait, and eventually he decided to appear out of nowhere. Hey, I see him. Is he finally coming? Hey, he is. Yeah, but haven't you been telling him to get rid of that truck for a while now? Hey, it's his decisions in life, okay? He has his right to choose whatever he wants, so we may not agree with it. Hey, cousin. What's happening? Well, Where's this tire at? Right here. We can't. We he didn't even make it to the house with a new tractor before he broke it. Wait, this is brand new, and you broke it? Not brand. It's not, not brand, brand new. new. Oh, look at that. It looks nice. Yeah, dealership right. only charged me ten grand for it. Ten grand. Ten grand Man. for this and the plow. I was about to say. And the plow. That's a steal. Exactly. All right. You know, I'm surprised they don't have any type of warranty on this. Did you check with them? They said no warranty. That was no. That was the reason it was so cheap. I guess that's yeah. a good deal. That's that's worth it. All right. Let me see. All right. See. I think we've got to be able to patch it. Patch it? All right. That's yeah, how, I think so. To me. All right. Yeah, let me let me go it's look some, for, for some too. tools. You better hope it's cheaper. That means you still get food this week if he's able to patch it. All right. This shouldn't take long. And there's some there's some fresh hot donuts in the truck if you guys are hungry. Yep. Hot donuts. All right. Donuts. That's why you're my favorite cousin. Hey, hey the jelly back donuts. Up. Back up. No, you don't hey, deserve nope, it. I want no, that one. No, 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 fine. All right, it's a, it's all repaired. It was it was just a quick quick patch there. You know, it, it was a good clean hole, so it was in the right, right spot to be able to be patched. So you don't have to buy a brand new tire. Luckily, thank God for that. Got a question for you. You uh you said you still look for a job, right? I'm always looking for money. Uh, you want to join us over here? Yeah, farm work. I'd love to learn. All right, good. It's this not could... very fun. It's not very fun. No, no. he don't. Well, we can make this one exciting. <laughs> we can make it exciting. All righty. So I'll let you actually. You know how to drive the tractor, right? Well, I can, yeah, I, this one, yeah, I should be able to figure this out. Let's, uh, let's start this up here. So what, you driving this truck then? I'm going to let you drive it. You got the keys or is it in it? Uh, the key, I, it's, it's, yeah, they're still in there. Okay. All right, All right go ahead and take her around back. We got to make a new field with her. Man, he has so many freaking pop cans in there. He should. He's just like you. <laughs> I don't drink that much pop. Yeah, I hear you over there. I'm going to drive this back there. All right, you know how to plow, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, I'm going to jump in here. I'm going to do you a starting line, and then I'm going to get you to go ahead and on starting on the other, okay? All right. I'm going to go cut trees. Seems like it's running really well. The plow is doing a really good job out there. It's tearing up land, especially for the first time this land's ever been in use. Uh, it's doing a lot better job. Dad. What would you do now? Whatever you do, don't look towards the truck. Go Come the on. Truck. This is ridiculous. Let me start this tractor for a second. All right, Uncle Chris. No, Cousin Chris. <laughs> You want me? You want me to take over? Yeah, go ahead. Let me go look up with this child. All right, well, we got this. Hey. You want to explain? Uh, no, not really. Okay. <laughs> you realize this means we have to get a new truck now, right? Uh, we got mobs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if y'all enjoyed this episode and want to see what we do about getting another truck, ladies and gentlemen, please give a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, we'll see you later. Peace.